Check it out, everybody. Today's video is about the Danchi Ridge Rock Rock Crawler. This thing's like one of the best inexpensive rock crawlers straight out of the box. We love it. We put tons of hours on this thing. But I tell you, we want to personalize it and make it a little baller. We put on lights. We weighted it. We weighted the wheels. And I'm going to show you how we did it all. Enjoy. So this is a wheel mod for the Danchi. And you can see this is the front hub. And I've taken and taken these quarter ounce wheel weights. They're self-adhesive. And stuck them on all the way around. All right. So the other thing is, this is uh, BBs, and I got a little bottle of BBs and equally distributed them amongst all four wheels. And basically, we am going to stomp them in, and then we're going to put the hub back on. What's going to happen is the BBs are always going to be at the bottom and uh, it's a lot of extra weight right at the bottom where the grip is. So I'll show you how that does. Let me get this reassembled and we'll see something else. Almost forgot. You want to put some tape on this. Just in case you uh, lose the sticky backing somehow, getting wet or whatever. All right. So they make a little noise, but it's cool, they pretty much stay where they are, not a lot of extra roll. And that's kind of cool. So the BBs are Crossman, and I filled them up, I, I kind of split them into four but then I added more for the front, so the front would be heavier. So these are available. I got them through Amazon. I'll put a link down below. You can probably get them at your local Walmart or hobby shop, anywhere they sell BB guns. Other things I've done is I added a Dean's plug here and I made a jumper. This is for my lighting system. So it's a Dean's plug with a JST coming off of it. So if I want to run lights, I can. If I want to leave them off, I don't have this in the system. Down here you see body panel with Velcro. So there's a 3D printed plate that sits in and then there's Velcro on top. And then here you see on the inside is the Velcro and you see my wiring for the lights. Again, 3D printed up front and this light bar here as well. So the lights just hot glued in, zip tied down through the roll cage, follow it down and then into JST plug. Plate is put on with the body pins attached and it's glued in place in the back. Now I'd originally cut off, there's like a little like spacer or uh, some sort of like, I don't know, basically stuck out to about here. I cut that off 
That way this could go sit in there far enough that I could keep these body pins on. Now, this grips really hard. So when you go to pull the body off, you could pull the plate off too. So that's why the body pins are still there. Another thing I did was add these rocker panels and these are done with like a dollar store cutting board and they're just glued on on the outside. But you see what happens is the body was getting cracked and like this was ripped right here because little kids would be picking up the car and ripping the body. So this right here enabled it to be really strong. And of course my daughter loves the pink paint job. So this is her car. It's pretty awesome. Funny thing is I like driving it a lot. Up front, more weight on this front servo. This is another two ounces of weight. So it's a little bit. Everything helps. As far as power, I upgraded to a 5200 two cell and it's uh plenty plenty of power so let's see the lights for you are lighthouse LEDs. I bought a 50 pack. I'm using them for all my trucks. But they really make a difference. Another thing I like about this is with the big battery pack, we can have all day driving, right? So why not just have these wires accessible right in the back? So easy to use, easy to tuck away. When you're done, you can just reach in and unplug them for your drive home. All right, let's see this thing in action. I got my test pilot in control here. Ah! Remember, sidewalk usually wins. This thing's badass. Anyway, take it slow, take it fast. This girl's a rock star driving this thing. I don't know, like I said, the kid drives it, but I love to drive it too. Let's get technical. These roots will do. Getting a little dizzy. Almost lost it there, but the weight held it down. Let's try that the other way. All right, here's an obstacle. Things like straight up vertical. Look at that flex. This thing articulates like crazy. Let's line it up. Maybe a little better angle here. Oh, we're slipping. Get that rear in action too. Gotta get grippier tires next. Maybe we'll coat those in oil. Yeah, I know that sounds crazy. But apparently, the oil will help make them stickier. Try that on another video. Oh, yeah, persistence pays off. 
All right, light test. All right, well, thanks for watching the video this far. And if you like the little Danchi Ridge Rock, you can get some of the stuff to mod it out. We'll have those links in the description below. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Like this video, share it with your friends, anybody that's into crawling. You know, they maybe have a kid that wants to get into the hobby too. This is a great, great little rig to do it with. And uh, you know, there's plenty of room to grow with it. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Get out there and have some fun. Peace.